under a big blue Australian sky. Along the western McDonald's eagles fly. Rivers of gold run to a sea of sand. And in the valleys on on plains below, ghost gums and spinnerbacks grow. Ancient sentinels of a timeless land. For it's the heart of the soul in the center. Barry Skipsey is a photographer, musician and proud Territorian, most at home right here in the rugged heart of Central Australia. For the soul, the very centre of Australia, Alice Springs, the call will bring you home. Oddly enough, music and photography seem to bounce off each other. I, I get inspired by both the people and the landscape. Um, well, the landscape really kind of speaks for itself, but uh, there's a quality, uh, a creative quality about a lot of people who live in Central Australia, in Alice. Um, I, I sort of call them uh, small diamonds. You know, they just uh, there's something about them that, that sparkles. There seems to be more diamonds per capita in Alice Springs. His images of the people are wonderfully considered, but he attributes his amazing wildlife shots to simply being in the right place at the right time. I consider myself to be an opportunist when it comes to wildlife. I honestly have nothing but respect and admiration for wildlife photographers because I'm not one. I just simply carry all my equipment and uh, if I see something and the animal in particular is kind to me, uh, I'll do my best to, uh, to capture it. Barry's most memorable assignment for Australian Geographic was actually his first, shooting the grandeur of the West Macdonald Ranges in spring. It was a terrible time of year to be shooting. It's October, November, very silvery. And I was very frustrated. Ominous clouds filled the sky, but just above the horizon, Barry noticed a tiny break. I thought to myself, well, look, if the, the sun lines up with the hole with that slit, it's going to create some magic over here. And if it does, I better get ready for it. And uh, honestly, it took me, uh, I just jumped out of the car, grabbed the tripod, grabbed the 350mm lens, bolted it on the camera, and I got an amazing picture. The layers of uh, the West Max with, uh, with Mount Giles literally lit up like a Christmas tree. It's fantastic. And like all our Australian Geographic photographers, Barry is full of hard-won advice. I guess the biggest tip, would, to my point of view, would be to make the effort to get up early in the morning, even to camp overnight, roll your swag out in a, in a location if you believe that, uh, that at sunrise there's going to be some magic created there. So you haven't really got very far to get out of bed to, to grab your tripod and to, and to get it. And I guess finally, my other main tip would be uh, just through experience. Often you're so engrossed on a, on a scene, uh, a ghost gum, sun setting on the ranges, and you look at it, oh, it's magic, and, you, and you, you're adjusting, you're, you're bracketing your exposures, you, you're capturing it right to the nth degree until the, the last piece of light has fallen from the ranges. And then you'll, you'll turn around and you'll go, oh, wow, like you've just, you've just suddenly spent all your time on what you thought was great here, but you've completely ignored and didn't even realize what was going on behind you. Uh, teach yourself just to, just to have a look around uh, because often your best picture, you might have your back to it.